after something scares them, they will roll completely into a ball. So I, I can't really touch him. Look, he's, he's sniffing your shoes. He's like, what is this? No. Look at that hard head shell thing. Mm -hmm. <gasps> you can see some of the hairs coming out from his face and from underneath the shell. I saw his hair. So wow, he might smell my dogs. Probably. Like, oh, so I can't really touch him. Just make sure you can't get out of the gate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he does smell. Sure. Yeah, he does. He smells like urine, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I oh, man, this uh, smells a little more than oh, the birds, God. typically. Yep. And um, their name in Spanish, I believe, actually means like turtle rabbit because they have those big ears and that shell that kind of looks like a turtle shell. Wow. And all He's those, interested in He is. Animals. I did not know that they were so small. Yeah, well, actually, some armadillos are much, much bigger. <laughs> yes, yes, the ones in, um, oh my god. Can you make him roll up in the ball? So we I don't want to do that because that means he's scared. Oh. Now, um, um, what was I going to say? How many years do they live? Oh, they live a fairly long time. Uh, the bigger <gasps> the species, typically, the longer the lifespan. Um, <laughs> He he's trying. To, oh, he's trying to nip something. Does, it, does he nip? He doesn't really. I mean, anything with a mouth can technically be funny. So don't put your fingers like this. He's this is his food. so cute. Because you wanted to see up close what he eats. Oh. So we give him this little oh, pellet. Um, this is what chickens eat. Um, mealworms. I mean, um. Yeah, those are mealworms exactly. But yeah, the dried ones. Oh yeah, these are. So they're oh, kinda, they're fresh. See, they're kind of moving a little bit. But he also gets uh. an insectivore pellet. Since he is an insectivore, but we also give him sweet potato, banana, oh, and papaya. Wow. He gets crickets and some larvae of soldier flies. Are they all dead though? The mealworms are oh, the no, only the mealworms things. are alive. Yeah, yeah. They're wiggling. <gasps> Look at you! <laughs> so I will oh put this near you. That way, when he's eating, you can still touch him. But Look he at it. He just like way. walks on his tippy toes. Yeah, if you look at his front feet, you'll see that that's just one long nail, essentially, which is why you could definitely hear them crawling around. The uh, the teeth or the oh, his nails. So he has, do you see that one big nail <gasps> on his front? Oh my! I did not know. Yeah, but does he have like two toes? So his back feet look more normal. <laughs> they look more like what you would. <laughs> I have picture. gotta send this to my daughter now. And this is not as hard. The tail is kind of like a. It's a more flexible. Turtly, maybe. What a cute little creature. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously he's not a, a warm and fuzzy little kitty. No. So he's not into cuddles. Not look really. at that. Look at that nail. Now, it looks like he's got a dew claw there, though. It looks like... It's, it's, um, it's kind of similar. Um, How do you do two pictures, darling? Two? Together. I don't understand. Well, I want to get... I'm taking a video and I got you in the video. I got a really good video. You're just going to hear me rambling. <laughs> but it's good to have background information like facts. So this one's from South America. Mm-hmm. Like, um, like Guatemala? Peru? Peru, Argentina, anyway. Brazil. They're pretty widespread. And the little hairs, what are they for? Uh, it's just natural for them. Um, that also just classifies them as a mammal. And this is their protection, I mean, mm -hmm. so they don't get eaten. And do they have any predators? They do, it's jaguars. Um, uh, so big jungle cats. <laughs> but they'll still eat them? If they can. But they have that hard uh, shell, which even the um, toughest jaw predators can't really get into. Um, and they have a method that they use where they will leave a small opening and then if they stick in like a claw or a nose, they can just snatch it. And then it like startles or hurts the predator and then they run away. Oh. <laughs> and then they can't escape. And they're like, freedom. <laughs> Interesting. Oh my God. So he, this is his, how many meals of today? His first meal? And he has regular feedings. Mm -hmm. You know, that looks like a lobster claw. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. And the back is like a hoof, like kind of a pig hoof. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
See, I know my animals. God, he is precious. I mean, they must be cute as babies. <laughs> you know, know what he looks small like? Now, but... He looks like a gigantic beetle bug. <laughs> and I like it. does he pee now? <laughs> wow. He doesn't typically, but. <laughs> I mean, he just walks around like he's on tippy toes. No, they kind of glide. <laughs> God, you're so interested in my shoe smell. Probably yeah, where the most smell is. <laughs> Somehow he knows. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Uh, and this is a boy. We're not just saying he because, you know, mm -hmm. it's a it traditional, is a he it is a he. Yes. And he's like one year? Yes. And he is full grown. Mm -hmm. So he will not mate here because he does not have a partner. He has a brother. <laughs> and it's his real brother? Mm hmm And so they have like how many in their in their litters? It could be anything from like one to three. This is cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's so cool. Oh my god, it's so great. So we have like a private um, encounter today. Yep. Their eyesight's it's not too great, so that's why he's definitely Oh, okay. And then their ears is probably the second thing that they would use. <laughs> Look at those feet! <laughs> is that about as fast as he goes? He want to go a little faster if he really wanted to. But that's only if he's trying to like escape <laughs> a predator little, or something. Little ears, like little mousy ears. Yep, that's why they're called turtle rabbits. <laughs> turtle, turtle rabbits? Mm-hmm. Oh. That's just what their name translates to. Are they, uh, so are they not nocturnal? Is that why their eye, their eyesight is not good? Typically, yeah, they're going to be a little more active during the night time. So if he's not eating, like, what does he do to pass time? I mean... We give him some toys okay. while he sleeps. <laughs> does he chew, like, wooden things like a bird? Uh, we typically give him more, like, boxes to kind of burrow into or little mm. tunnels that he can oh. run into. Where do they live in, in the desert? And the, the, the rainforest? Yeah, They're kind of like both rainforest -y Touch type him. Come on, go, 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 Just go. very warm weather. <laughs> Armadillos. Very warm weather. I know, it's a funky feeling. <laughs> it's kind of oh, like God. a turtle, but dry. <laughs> if he ever comes back over here. What did you find? <laughs> when he comes over here. See, he ate all the fresh. He yeah, ate all the papaya. Ate all the stuff. So... He ate all the good stuff. Can I touch him? No, not till he eats. Huh? Yeah, what would he do if he bit? Uh, they do have some teeth in there. They're pretty similar to ant eaters. Um, okay, right out, right out. Go, go here. <laughs> you want to sit here, or do you want to? No, leave? I'm good. I'm gonna kneel. Okay. He's coming back. He's coming back. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> If he ever just stands still, you can <laughs> He's not going to do anything to you, I promise. No, he de it's not like he can whip around. He's very limited, I think, in his movement. He's such a little mouth. You know, are they related to the ant eaters? They are. Oh. Is They're his shell feel like so. a turtle? Or is it like leather? Or a between? A little, yeah. Harder than leather and yep. Yeah, sort of like <laughs> a turtle more than yep. it's so leathery part well, is like in between the bands right here. The rings, yeah. Yep, that's where it really feels like leather. Mm. The bands probably, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and he looks like a rodent. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Wow, that, he just wants to <laughs> Well she is forecasted that he was going to run around like interested I just thought it was a bigger one like I didn't know that they had small I didn't know that they came I pictured a big green thing forgive me <laughs> <laughs> they're all over, all over Texas and Georgia and yeah. oh I was in coastal Georgia and they were just on the road they were just on the roadside and often dead but you know, if they don't have good eyesight, they probably 
just walk in the road. And yeah. Look at this shell, that is so cool. Each plate is called a scoot. A scoot. Is, mm -hmm. Which is the same as a turtle. It's like an accordion. Wow, a scoot. A scoot. So do you put them together for, they're solitary though, you said. They're happy to be alone. You know, that happens even to dogs that are raised alone. Our gizmo, whom I'll be babysitting next week, Diane, the dog, <laughs> he does not like other dogs. He's a little thing. And he like goes off as if to say, leave me be, I'm not interested in socializing. But I think, you know, they're like people. You know, if you left alone long enough, they really don't want to interact. Right. And That's true. connect and bond. I also work at a doggy daycare, so we have some dogs that just don't get along. Oh, no, no, I, I had to rescue. Yzma doesn't growl or snap. He just goes, like, where can I be alone? <laughs> Leave me be. I want my space. <laughs> yeah. We've got a couple parrots like that here. <laughs> Hello. Oh, so cute. Makes me nervous just watching him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we're going to see the rest of the aviary. I haven't been yeah. here in years. Oh, well, the tropical rainforest is completely redone. Okay. Just like this theater. So we redid this whole theater to go with our Amazon show. I have to come to one of the parrot encounters. <clears throat> well, if you're here on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, it will probably be me. <laughs> is it usually slow like this? Uh, this time of day, yeah, especially during this time of the year as well, when school's back in session. Oh, I love that because I don't want to, you know, be with. I think the parent encounter is very cool. Wow. Um, unfortunately, with that one, you don't get to like interact with the parent oh. itself, but you get to watch yeah. it paint and you get yeah. to see the painting. So. That's, now, do they all paint or just certain ones? All of our Amazon, our blue fronted Amazon parents paint. But our like bigger macaws and wow. some of our other parrots don't. So macaws are really do speak a lot of words, don't they? And they don't allow them legally anymore. But I thought I had a, 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 a an instructor in college that said that she loved them and they really had a lot of vocabulary. Macaws. Um, or am I thinking of something else? <clears throat> it's usually the medium-sized parrots, so like the Amazon parrots, African gray parrots. Okay. Um, so like parrots from this size, like this size, where my yeah. are like the biggest ones, and they don't have quite as many like vocal abilities because we have like some Amazon parrots that are able to vocalize and say hello and happy birthday and things like that, whereas our larger macaws more just kind of squawk. <laughs> Okay. Some of them yeah, can do like a... a now, what does he have a name? This is Willie. Willie. And his brother is Wonka. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so how did they acquire the two brothers? We got them from another facility. So they were born uh, under human care at another zoo, and they were sent here. So, so they the cannot be in the wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're, they're spoiled. They are spoiled. Spo they live the good life. Wow. I don't know if caging is a good life. Sorry. Well, they have no well he has healthcare. no predators for health care, mm -hmm. a veterinarian. He's going to live longer than he used to. Yeah, he sometimes they do in captivity, unless they're in a dolphin at a Mexican um, <laughs> aquarium. Yeah. 